uh, we have lots of awards to give away, but as Osama mentioned, I speak at Indian broadband speed, so we will finish this evening at a very fast pace. Uh, this is one of the favorite events for most of us in the year, because we end the year by looking at what are the best awards in ICT for Deep and what is waiting for us next year. So the timing of the event is terrific. It's also the 10 year anniversary of Manthan. A round of applause please for Osama and his team for carrying on this fantastic feat for 10 years. I'm sure those of you in the industry know that it's not that difficult maybe to start awards, but very difficult to sustain them year after year. And to do that for 10 years is absolutely fantastic. At the end of the day today, you will get a very good souvenir. This book, make sure you pick it up on the way out. This is a fantastic 125 page book with information on all the winners, finalists, the jurors, essays by experts, etc. on 10 years of Manthan and what these award winners have done. So, we are here to celebrate today the excellence and leadership of all these organizations who are winning the awards. But I should say that we should also celebrate a great leader who is no more with us. As you all know, uh, late last night, Nelson Mandela passed away. And uh, we'd like to begin uh, with a small slideshow of some of these great leaders' work and achievements. Can we have the slideshow, please? There will be one slide, a brief slide summarizing some of his work. And after that, I'll ask each of you to stand up for a minute in silence, but let's first see this slide. There is no passion to be found playing small in settling for a life that is less than the one you're capable of living. That's a very nice quote by Nelson Mandela. And let me share with you one of my other favorite quotes of Nelson Mandela. Do not judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got up again. So success at the end looks nice. When you see all the people coming up on stage afterwards, you think, oh, this is easy to do this kind of a project. But as they will all tell you, it's very hard. You go through many failures and you have to keep bouncing back. If you're an entrepreneur or a startup, you have to have that faith that things will work. But no one personified this better than this great man, Nelson Mandela. So may I ask all of you to, out of respect, stand for just a minute in silence for his greatness. Thank you. You may all sit down now. As you all know, Nelson Mandela and South Africa are very great friends of India as well. But that's a whole topic by itself. You can have entire books and movies about it. But let's see another video now. Let's see the video of 10 years of Manthan. 10 years of the awards, what it's achieved, who are the people behind it, and what some of the outcomes have been. Let us now watch the video, 10 years of Manthan. <laughs>
scenes churning. So we wanted Manthan Award, the name is because it's a churning of technology that creates a result of the impact of technology. So we were more interested in uh, the impact of technology, less in technology. We are also looking at how Manthan Award can become regional and sub-regional and maybe state level awards. More than that, uh, what we are looking at is that how Manthan Award can become a center of innovation and mentorship and scalability for various kinds of innovation and technology. The pool of winners and the pool of jewelers can make an amazing pool of what we call as the digital leaders of this country for the development of the nation. Lovely jury this year, very hectic. Uh, the smaller countries are coming out. Early. The Manthan Award truly was uh, what Manthan in Hindi is all about. I'm very happy with the process that are being followed in the jury. It's a good mix. A good mix of academics. You can find much more information on these awards <coughs> on the website manthanaward.org. Thanks for that video. I'm going to ask three people now to tell us about these awards and why awards are not just a good one-off event, but a very good anchor for a community. Uh, Peter Brook, Osama Manzar and Brian Cute will tell us about these awards. First, I will ask Osama Manzar and Brian Cute to come up and then I will ask Peter to come up on stage. So first, let's hear from Osama and Peter, uh, sorry, Brian. Brian Cute is the CEO of the Public Internet Registry and both of them are going to tell us about their partnership in creating these terrific awards. So over to you, Osama and Brian, and then we'll hear from Peter. Okay, I, I don't think uh, I really need to talk after and many people who have been associated with us for the last 10 years. It is technology, information, and communication. All together, what can be done to the public show that you saw, you know, to the poorest of the poor, to the villages, to the rural India. That's what we want to relate the technology like the way you relate a telephone, not as a technology, but as a medium, as a tool. That's the way we would like to take technology as and to be used. And why perhaps Brian is important is because he is, as a CEO, he sits on uh, PIR, Public Interest Registry, who gives away the domain called .org. That means any you know, developmental organization can have that domain, and next year they are launching .ngo, and they have been extremely uh, you know, um, uh, strongly associated with this one. So I think you have a better story to tell about what it is. Rather than well, not, not a better story, but just from, from my perspective, and we've been so happy to participate and support this for the last three years, not just working with Osama, who, whose work speaks for itself, but for us, very simply, it's uh, the understanding that in this digital world that, as I said yesterday, in a very real way, if you're not online today, you don't exist. And, and so many of you here are doing so many good things, good works, that it's just fundamentally important today and tomorrow that you be online, that you be visible, that you be able to connect and share, and that those in the world who want to support what you do and understand what you do be able to find you. And it's really those fundamentals. And, and this award just demonstrates the impact that being online can have. And I had my first jury experience yesterday, and it was a wonderful experience um, to hear from the presenters, to understand what they're doing, and also to challenge back how they can do it better, and then learn together how to do it better. So we think Manthan's just a wonderful event for those purposes and look forward to celebrating the winners tonight with you. Thanks, Brian. He's going to be coming up on stage later on to give prizes away to some of the winners. But uh, let me also introduce another very important group of people who are responsible for these awards, who will be the jurors. But first, I must ask Peter Brook to come up on stage. The logic of these awards, the M. Billionth Awards and the Manthan Awards, are inspired by another set of awards called the World Summit Awards. And the CEO, the founder, the chairman of the World Summit Awards is Peter Brook. And he's going to tell us a little bit about 
how he started these awards and why he loves coming to India so often to meet all of us lovely people. Go ahead, Peter. Thank you very much, Madam. Uh, Madam has not been here for the last days, therefore he needs a hug this morning <laughs> and this afternoon. Uh, so as to be in the spirit of the opening uh, meetings here uh, two days ago, yesterday morning. Why are awards important? When you look at the digital technologies, you realize that if you take a mobile phone in your hand, a DVD in your palm, or if you look at a computer, you have absolutely no clue what is the quality of the content and the applications which run on these devices which are inherent to this media. For 5,000 years we have had media where we instantly with our personal senses could understand, view, hear, sometimes even taste what is the quality of the material? What is actually the content? What is the depth of message? What is the context which is provided? With digitization, content has immaterialized. This is the great advance of digitization. We can interconnect it. We can make multimedia out of it. We can make it hyperlinked and open into cyberspace. We can make it even responsive, or we can make it adaptive both to the device and to the person. This new vision is accompanied by a loss. What we have gained, we have paid for. Therefore, when we have awards, when we have juries, the juries are value added processes to tell us more what is valuable, what is important, what is good, what is distinct, what works, which does not work, what delivers value to the user, and which is performing technologically. Fifteen minutes ago, Brian and I were outside and we were approached by a group of three young people and they told us about how wonderful a website they are doing for medical purposes. There are 55,000 doctors and nurses involved. They are doing uh, work with farmer uh, uh, companies and they are doing a lot of things and they are now checking out to have something for maternal advice in business and things like this. And Brian and I were looking at her and were saying to them and her, what is actually outstanding about what you do? Why is this unique in a competitive space? What is it actually which makes this better than others? Answers to these questions give something like the Mantan Award. If you want to take India further for the next 10 and 20 years, you need to bank not on mass content, but quality content. What you need is knowledge depth and not just information breadth. What you don't need is more data which dilutes you and it's a tsunami of stuff which you cannot sort out. But you need to know where priorities are and what you can build on and where the knowledge as a web can hang and support each and every one of us, each and every one of you, your communities, your community development, and take it further. This is the vision of the World Summit Award. This is the vision of Manton Award. This is the reason why you are here and why it's justifiable that a lot of dignitaries will get onto the stage today to hand out the awards. This is the work of the Digital Empowerment Foundation and I salute everybody, especially Osama, his wife, Shifali, his kids, all his friends, and the community has come to support this. Thank you very much for joining us here tonight. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. He mentioned process and quality. And let me bring on stage now all the people who are responsible for the process and quality. Can I ask all the Jura members to come up on stage, please, for a group photograph? 
all jurors, march up here. Amitabh, call everyone up here. Rajan, Ashish. These are the jurors of the Manthan Awards. And uh, believe me, it's not an easy award. They spent three days, full day and full night, arguing, debating with each other on the smallest of details. Why is this important? Why is that not important, etc. A round of applause for the Manthan 2013 jury. The best of 10 years. Yes. A round of applause for the nominees because of whom we are here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Group photo, all your social media, Twitter pic, Twit pic, all the Facebook crowd, paparazzi, come up and take your photos. Tweet this, the hashtag is hash manthan2013. Thanks. Now, let's see a video of how exactly this whole process works. I know some of you are here for the first time. Let's watch a video of the jury at work. Let's have the manthan jury video, please. The process is a mix of outreach through email and various media, social media. But the most important outreach methodology that we have about Manthan Award is that we work all the years through all the media and handpicking innovators. We work very hard in going through various stages of uh, keep your eyes open kind of. So our staff, some of the staff, some of the board members, some of the people are always eyes open all over the year. Wherever they see, they go, oh, you know, just catch them. You know, uh, they should apply for Manthan. We get almost like 400 to 500 nominations. You know, for the last couple of years, we have getting touching almost 500 nominations. the 10th year of Manthan Award and therefore a very special year. Uh, special not just because we completed a decade, but because we now transition from one phase to another. What we see is that uh, there's a lot of innovation happening on the ground, a lot of projects people do which makes so, uh, like, have tremendous impact in people's lives. It's been very, very interesting. I think what's exciting about this process is that you have a great range of different people, from, from journalists to technology people to entrepreneurs, and I think that mix gives a very good insight. To describe Manthan Award, I feel it is a wonderful initiative I think supported by the Digital Empowerment Foundation. It was a very well documented and explained process of how to go about the evaluation. You know about so many applications, so many products, so many you know platforms, and it's really an amazing uh, experience for me because I have learned a lot from this. Too. Monson Award is, of course, it is the 10th year, so it is a, a great thing because not many award things can continue uh, and then grow. The important is that it's not only continuing, it's growing also. I think the best part of the jury selection is uh, intellectually high and fun part is the discussion. So when you have this one category, you have five to seven, on which you are just fighting, you are you know, debating, you are supporting, you are rejecting among those 20 jurors. And I think that's the, and the most fun part of this entire jury and the hardest part of the entire jury. I would say energy. It has a lot of energy. I just told that I would be killed at the right I have a smile on my face that you tell me. Keep up the good work. <laughs>